Have you ever wondered how to integrate Noodle with Directus as a backend? Then you're in the right place. Today we're going to look at how to set up Directus to be able to make this super complex app retrieving cat images from a collection that I have in my Directus database, in my backend. So I'm not going to talk um, about how to set up Directus in this video. I'll assume you've already got it set up. I'll just talk about um, how we would get this collection that I've created of cat pictures to be accessible from my Noodle front end. So we go first into the user directory. We need to create a user. So I'm gonna repeat the steps that I've already done to show you how it works. We're gonna create a user called uh, Noodle API or whatever you want. You don't need to fill in any other fields. Just create this user. It's only gonna be used for uh, APIs. And at the bottom, you just need to click on the plus. In admin options, you need to be logged in as admin, obviously to take the token that you need. So we'll copy that out, create the user. Let's go into settings, access control. We're going to give, create a new group, a new role called um, cat access. And we're going to give it access to the cats collection, view only, all access. We, don't, we can check the system collections to make sure that directus files also has view access because we're going to need to uh, make a call to get a file as well, since we have these stored as files in our database. And that is good. And then we need to add the user to that role, who's down here. So we take our Noodle API, whatever, add that into this role, or whoever you want to add into the role, and save that. So now we have an API key that's linked to this role that has specific granular access to access this collection of cats. And that's it. In the next video, I'll show you how to do the function to be able to call with your API key to get the cats.